Today we're looking at the brand new Scuf Envision Pro. This was just released last week. Now it is sold out on Scuf's website. If you were a subscriber, you would have seen uh, that I posted in my community tab that this is available at Best Buy, the pro version, the white and the gray version, and I put the link on the community tab. We're gonna look into this and we're gonna see if this lives up to the praises of potential peripheral of the year. It's kind of what everybody's saying. I unboxed this about six hours ago and I've been playing with it since then. And so my first impressions, there are two things that I think were negative and I'm kind of alarmed about, but there's a lot and I mean a lot of good things. So let's jump into it because there is a lot to cover. Okay, so looking at the software for the Scuf Envision Pro, you can see here we're now on the IQ dashboard. You have to install the latest version of the software in order to use the new Envision Pro. And so here you see we have it installed and now we're gonna click on the device and bring it up. Now it gives you the typical warning about murals and how murals can basically take over the entire lighting effects that you have across your desk, or you can individually set these when using them. Um, we're gonna close that for now. Boom, boom, boom. Um, starting with the Envision Pro, looking at the menu on the left hand side here, you have your mappings. Now your mappings and your hardware mappings are pretty much going to be the same thing um, unless you make changes like custom and stuff like that. So right now these are the mappings that are there um, and you can basically map. Uh, it's basically telling you all the buttons, et cetera, et cetera. Here are all your layouts, your inputs that you have here, eco button down there, volume and all that good stuff. Um, your hardware mappings, just talked about that. Your lighting effects, now you can change your lighting effects. Um, again, right now there's a mural setup or you can individually change the lighting effects um, individually by going into here and changing the lighting effects specifically for the controller. Now the controller has a lot of different lighting effects. I mean, pretty basic presets right there. Create your custom ones. Of course, you know, uh, IQ has that, you know, forum where you can bring stuff in. And then there's your lighting link, which is basically going to link your controller with anything, any other Corsair peripherals that you have um, set up through IQ. Um, and you can see those lighting effects on the keyboard, on the keyboard, on the controller there um, when, you're, when you're setting those up. So, I mean, that's a cool feature. Now, moving over to the triggers here, you have your customized, customizable triggers. And as you can see here, there's five, one, two, three, four, five, Oh, sorry, four presets plus your custom that you can set. Um, it's set at default there, and then you have your trigger position, trigger values, and dead zone that you can set here. And then they have some presets down there for racing, fighting, sports, default shooters, and battle royale uh, that you can set. So that way, if you're unfamiliar with like this type of software and you don't know what to do, start with some of the presets. And then as you get used to the controller later on, you can build out your custom, you know, your custom um, setup there. Um, and one note on the pro version versus the regular version the pro version is the only one with the wire click or mouse click triggers as you can see there on the screen the um 
regular version doesn't have that. And so I would imagine that this isn't an option with the regular version, the plug-in wired version. Um, so one thing of note there, I want to make sure you under, you're, you're aware of that. You don't get those triggers with the regular version. Moving over to the thumbsticks. Now you saw me unbox an extra pair of thumbsticks earlier um, that they have that come with the Pro. Um, and you can remove this front face plate there like so, just like that. And then you have access to the, the thumbsticks to replace the thumbsticks if you want that pop of black color popping out. But they're, they're not just a change in color, they're a change in height and um, texture as far as like the thumb and you'll see that on the B-roll there. Um, now here in the thumbsticks, again, you can adjust your dead spots. Now you, out of the factory, this one doesn't slightly look to be dead center. I'm not sure if that what that's about or if that's design. Um, there's nothing in the literature about it not being dead center like this one here. Um, I don't know if that's a drift already going on with this thing. Um, but that could, I mean, that, yeah. I don't know if that's drift or not. Well, I mean, well, I guess we'll see over time. Um, there's a year warranty. So the year warranty with this particular controller, um, which will cover that. Now, thumbstick position, thumbstick values, dead zone, very similar to the, to the trigger setup. Four presets here, along with some uh, presets over here for mappable, like, you know, there's some, the curve, if you will. Um, but there's my default, my dynamic, um, linear is where they have it on, on, on default there. But you again, you can you can adjust that however you want it. Um, going over to vibration, you got two vibration motors, you can sync them. I don't know, you know, what would happen if they weren't synced? Like if, if something happened on the right, would it would it, you know, vibrate? That'd be something I can test in the long run. Um, going over to device settings here, um, obviously your battery. Now I haven't charged this thing since I opened it up. So um, I'm about six hours in gaming. Um, and I haven't charged this yet, but um, Auto shut off, eco mode, you can turn that on and off from here. You can also turn it on and off with the default settings on the controller. Um, show battery gauge and notification area, which will be down here on the PC down there. And then USB wireless receiving pairing in case, for whatever reason, you know, it unpairs from the USB. So that's that's really nice software. Um, at least in my opinion, that's, that's really nice software for this. It's really robust. Um, and again, don't let the software, you know, create fear or, or hesitancy. You don't have to be a subject matter expert day one using this because they have a lot of defaults and presets for you to just jump into gaming and then from there, see what you like. That'll never be my world. But hey, I'm happy to add a little blood and chrome to their fake pop slice and dice. And you, you got cyber wheels or something? Beat on the sidewalk now. GNV characters now. Look at some of that. Dead serious. Yes. The plane's been hacked. Trajectory set for Night City. They'll bring us down to Dogtown soon. know how much I'd really love to believe you, but... I know, V. You've hit a dead end. Nowhere to turn. Been there. After you. I'll be right beside you. As much as I can.
<laughs> My first impressions of the brand new Envision Pro. I really like this controller. Um, the ergonomics is different from the Xbox style controller. It's kind of like a blend between the PlayStation and the Xbox controller. It, it has the length or feel, uh, I guess you would call it width of the PlayStation. And then it doesn't quite have the depth or, or height, whatever you want to call it, of the Xbox. It's, it's kind of in between. So for folks like myself, I don't have the biggest hands. This feels really good um, with it being slightly smaller than the Xbox, although I do like the Xbox controller size a little bit better than the PlayStation. Um, for, for those of you with larger hands, you may not like this because it's more compact. I think the quality and build of this feels really great. Responsiveness, as you can see from some of the gameplay, feels really, really good. And even you know playing with the controller for the first time in a long time, as opposed to using the mouse and keyboard, I was pretty responsive and it felt really good using it. The two major issues that I've seen so far are, is not something that is going to show up in the use of the controller. And I don't know if it has anything to do with the build of my computer with the uh, installation of IQ software or when I'm running IQ software, my memory and my screen freezes a, a lot. Like my mouse movement around the screen and it's, it's not like an alarming amount, but it's more than I've ever seen in a long time and I have 64 gigabytes of RAM on my on my PC here um, so I, I don't have you know, like a bad build or anything like that I got a, a 3090 graphics card um, OC rogue Asus graphics 3090 card um, and I have a Ryzen 25 uh, what is it 2950x um, CPU so a really strong PC that I haven't had any issues at all and another thing is that after the IQ software is running I can't open other programs. And so like as you, I put the B-roll up here and it's just my screen, but you can see I have the regular um, or the I have the regular background going and not the wallpaper engine because you can't run wallpaper engine while you're running the IQ software when you're using the controller. And so it's not it doesn't play well with with software so far from what I can see um, as far as the software that I use. Now I'm, I'm sure this is because it's early in you know, early and people are going to start reporting those bugs that they're seeing and what have you. But I can't run my wallpaper engine while using this, which means um, I have to turn it off, which puts my OLED screen at risk and things like that. And then in order for me to even run my camera software for my Sony, which is the remote software that I use to record, you know, see myself on the screen, I have to close off IQ, restart the computer and then start it because after I finish gaming, it won't start. And so those are alarming to me, those two things. Um, but those are something that I'm sure can be fixed with, with a, you know, firmware compatibility, you know, issue type deal um, within software development, you know, so it's, it's, not a, it's not a deal breaker in my opinion. It is an annoyance, but it's definitely something that I noticed since installing the updated IQ software and using the new Envision Pro. Um, so yeah. Outside of that, at the actual controller, no issues there whatsoever, but I did notice those things. And so I have to tell you that in case you see it as well. But overall, as far as like the controller outside of that, just over here <laughs> using the controller, I really, really like this. Um, so yeah, um, but the burning and the burning, burning, burning question that I know is racing in your head? The answer is yes, it is worth <laughs> $179. In fact, I think that comes in pretty cheap compared to other pro style controllers. If you look at the PlayStation 5 Edge, if you look at the Series 2 Elite, if you look at my mods controller, I mean, this thing was over $300. Um, and then here's my Scuff Instinct Pro, over 250 bucks or whatever it was. Um, but with that being said, with this being PC focused and giving you that extra 11 inputs, I definitely think it's worth the price. Now, as far as the two issues that I saw, those are pretty alarming to me because I'm going to have to do more research and see if that's just because I just added the software or whatever the case may be. Let me know in the comment section below if you're interested in seeing a longer term review, like a two week or a month or whatever that looks like. Let me know in the comment section below. Um, and then if there's enough interest or whatnot, then I'll make another video, but I don't want to make videos that people aren't interested in watching. So I'm, all, I'm always wondering kind of what the community is looking for. And that way I'm just not sharing stuff that I think the community wants. Right. So let me know those things. 
Um, also, if you enjoyed today's video, consider subscribing uh, and joining the Cozy Coalition. I got a ton of great content coming, whether it's this bad boy right here that I'm testing out on this particular video. I got an Ace Magic Mini PC coming, as well as the, the new NuFi uh, Air 75 V2 keyboard, a bunch of stuff coming. So um, subscribe for that. But as always, stay cozy in that crazy world, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.